bad. We made it through security. Just barely. <laughs> he got selected randomly. He looks like a criminal. <laughs> so, so far, so good. It's, it's our first adventure out. It's going great. We have more to go. A lot more. Today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go! Here we are in New York City. We just arrived today. We're here for one night only on our way to Europe. There. This reminds me of when we were in uh, Philadelphia, yeah. right? We were just walking around the down, downtown and like just a swarm of bikes just take over the streets. It's really cool. I love it. Cars have no choice but to stop. <laughs> yeah. So some of them are trying to force their way through. This is Park Avenue. Oh, Park mm -hmm. Avenue. What are these ruffians doing on our street? So we're in our New York City hotel room and there is no mini fridge. Can you believe that? So we improvised. This is the AC unit. <laughs> and we have leftovers from our dinner that we picked up at Whole Foods. And this is acting as our refrigerator, the AC unit. It actually works, I can't believe it. It's super cold and it's keeping everything cold. <laughs> Mmm, sesame spicy noodles and coffee for breakfast. Weird combo, but it's what we have. <laughs> if you followed us for any time at all, you know that we've been full-time RVers for the past five years. During that time, in the past five years, we have visited all but one of the lower 48 states, or the contigu what is it, what is it called? The contiguous continental United States. The lower 48. We visited a lot of great locations, but it was very difficult for us to come to places like this. We're in Central Park, Manhattan, New York. Yep. Uh, not very RV friendly, <laughs> you know, a city like this. So now what we're doing is taking our adventures abroad. Um, and this is just a quick stopover for us. Uh, we flew in yesterday. We're catching an overnight flight tonight. So now we're going to be living a life abroad. And we're going to be traveling by airplanes and trains and whatever else. We're going to try to visit places for a longer periods of time than what we've done in the past. Um, to really almost be living in each place. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, at least two weeks in a lot of places, maybe a month or even more, depending on the location. So we're very excited uh, to have the opportunity to visit places that we never really thought we would be able to, you know, living the way we were for the past five plus years. We have no set agenda, no set itinerary. Um, yeah, we have so. an agenda. <laughs> it's to have as much fun as possible. <laughs> That's true. So now we will only be living out of our suitcases, which is way smaller <laughs> than an RV. What it was a 180 square feet or something? Yeah, you know, small RV. Yeah. yeah. And now we've downsized from that to just four, suitcases. Four suitcases. All right. So that's just kind of a quick update onto what we're doing now. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for following yeah. and subscribing and liking. No. We really appreciate it, and we love sharing um, what we do with the rest of you guys. We're gonna spend the rest of the day here in New York City, see some more sights, and. Catching an 11 p.m. flight. Yeah. <laughs> Today is Sunday, we're in the middle of Central Park, and there's just people everywhere. Everybody seems to be in great spirits. Like everywhere we turn, people are just smiling and happy and friendly. I have yet to encounter 
rude people, to be honest. Every single time <laughs> yeah. I've been here. Yeah, it's, it's been, been nothing wonderful. but great. Nothing but great. Just spotted the biggest disco ball I've ever seen in my life. Look what we just found. Vegan pizza, yay! <laughs> Two slices of plant-based pizza in New York City with a lemonade, $16. Which <laughs> so I think is a great price. It's a good price vegan food. <laughs> that's where we're going, Highline. Apparently that's an overlook at the inn. We just discovered that we have walked over six miles today <laughs> in Manhattan. <laughs> now we have to somehow make our way back to the hotel we stayed in last night, who is holding our luggage so that we can then catch a taxi or Uber to Newark Liberty Airport. Then we catch a nine hour overnight flight. This is why you're supposed to be here three hours early. We made it through international security. <laughs> I was stressed out, I don't know why. <laughs> I got the full pat down. Yeah, he left something in his pocket. And the guy scolded me. He was not happy with me. his passport. Because I had my passport, boarding pass in my pocket. He acted like I lied to him when I said I didn't have anything in my pockets. I guess I did. And this flight has weight restrictions on carrying on bags of 20 pounds. By carrying on a 34 pound, there was no way. So they made us pay for an extra checked bag. <laughs> 130 extra bucks. Whatever. Um, we're gonna try to like lose some weight, but I don't think I can lose that much. 14 pounds, no way. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah. Delta had no restrictions on carrying on as far as weight goes. It could have weighed 100 pounds, they wouldn't have carried it, yes. But not this international flight to Portugal. We're exhausted. We walked, I forget, I didn't look. Last time I looked, nine, it was nine something. miles. I think it was 8.9 miles. Around Manhattan. That was earlier. Nine so miles. Now it's probably like 11. Yeah. We weren't planning on that at all, but it just kind of happened. <laughs> it's like a whirlwind sightseeing tour of New York. It was, it was fun. fun. It was really, yeah. 
we're in a good time. We're on an overnight flight. It's 11.15 flight time, PM. Summer. 